actress has been killing us and not with kindness but she's killing us with fashion this girl has been looking like a peng every other day like look at her outfits she just looks like she was dripped in gold and she threw all of her money at the the, the person designing her outfits and she's mm -hmm. like make me something and make it look amazing we even saw her outfit with the wakanda at the premiere and she looked so good and we saw the bts of her trying to get into the car mm -hmm. and the struggle her head was all the way up there she like please from when he sunroof so that my head can fit like this girl goes above and beyond when it comes to how she looks how amazing her outfits are and she even has gone so far as to tell us that it, it may cost about a hundred thousand kenya shillings mm -hmm. for her just to look that good every single time she goes to an event and therefore it begs the question why aren't people getting paid to go to these events because if y'all paid us we would look cute. We would like, show we would, up. We would, we would look like a bag of money. It's expensive. But we would look good for you if you paid us. So mm -hmm. that is one story, but we're going to put a pin on that and we'll discuss it much later. Right now, we're talking about her weight loss. This girl has just gotten to a point where she looks like a peng. Like her body is looking bodied. Like you remember when Sinachi was Sinachi? Nah, her body is Sinachi. She is looking like nothing out of... The, like. Kate just looks like a goddess. Let's mm -hmm. just call it what it is. She's a beautiful woman with a beautiful body. And so when she decided to go through this gastric balloon implant in her body in order to reduce her appetite and try and lose some weight, because according to her, she was saying that she was a bit, uh, she was a bit in the struggle bus. She said she wanted to lose about 20 kgs. In fact, she wanted to lose about 15 kgs, but it was becoming a bit of a hustle for her because she, she loves to eat like a girl can eat and mm -hmm. she loves to eat. So according to her, she says that eventually she did get the gastric balloon and we spoke about this i think previously on another show yeah. But now she's thinking about actually getting it removed, okay? She says, thankfully, there is something I can do. Um, I told the hospital that I wanted to lose weight, but not that much because I still want to be a curvy girl. She continued to say that I realized that my body was shrinking. That was after she got the gastric balloon. She says, I realized my body was shrinking. I might not look like the same person. I would not look nice. I talked to them and they told me that after a month, they can incorporate a movement and change my diet and i don't end up losing so much weight and looking saggy i love working out i love lifting weights i started going um working out slowly and went back to the gym as i needed to have my muscles back i realized that my weight was coming back and i looked even better i wanted to look different in the role that i was taking but i have learned how to control my portions of food and that <clears throat> That has stuck with me even after I reversed the procedure. This is so cool because she is very conscious about what she's eating. She's very ready to um, undergo and redo the, the, the whole thing. She actually did spend between 200000 and 500000 just to get the gastric balloon put in her. But now she's decided to take it out and she's still looking okay. She's still looking amazing. And I think I love this for her because a lot of us people become a little obsessed with losing weight. Yeah. And once we start losing weight, we start to get this weird dysmorphia where we're like no more no more i would look better if i lost just two kgs i would look better if i lost just five more kgs and then we end up becoming pins and skinny not the way we wanted to look but i love the fact that she's taking this stance where she's like look I wanted to do this to lose weight. I have lost the weight that I wanted to lose. Yes, it's in a shorter span of time than I thought it would be, but I have lost the weight and therefore I am now going to go back to my original self. So kudos to you and for showing such a good example to people that you do not have to end up looking like a stick figure for you to feel comfortable or confident. You just need to get to a point where your body is comfortable, you're comfortable, you're not getting sick or anything. You are happy with yourself. So kudos to you, Kate Actress. And for everyone else who's trying to lose some weight it's never that serious child just enjoy your body it's mm -hmm. your own girl now listen when you hear the word kate the actress or the sentence kate the actress it comes with an expectation mm -hmm. i think it's it's one of those um, instances where you set a standard or you go to an event and you kill it and when you're invited to the next event there's no way you're going to look worse than you did in the mm -hmm. last event so it just you, you set this pace and you have to outdo yourself every time you have to keep jogging this industry mm -hmm. for you to survive and that's just what has been with kate the actress you go to this event you kill it 
it. The next event, unanza ku plan like three months prior. We just goes to the brands who are inviting you to these events. Do they pay you? Do they pay you enough money? And it's been a problem, especially when a brand reaches out to you. They want to do bare minimum. They just want you to come and take pictures and just, you know, do the least and also expect the most. But the problem is we have now entered an age of fashion cops where everyone with a, with a phone and a camera feels the need or feels like they're entitled to judge what you wore. We also had it with the Wakanda premiere and everyone had a say. Everyone was calling people names. And you're wondering if you were put in the shoes of this person. This person went to this event knowing they killed it. They went to this event knowing they had showed up and showed out. And then you hear this narrative on the internet of how you are dressed like you are going to the supermarket. Arurashio. You know, like you're going to Arurashio. And you know, like deep down, you did what you could. You know, you did what you could with the budget you had. If people were in your shoes, they would not know. Not everyone can afford to splurge 100000 on a single event. We're not just built like that. So just be kind to everyone. Yeah, That's just so. the message here. Just mm. be kind to everyone. If you have to review an outfit or someone's body or someone's anything, just do it with kindness. There's no need to be mean. But what do you think about her weight loss and her weight loss journey so far? I think it's beautiful. I think, you know, it's good to see somebody who's doing it safely and transparently. Especially being a ce celebrity, the transparency part is what we are here for. Because we don't want her to, like, lose weight, like, behind the scenes and then come out with some tea. Tea slimming for you to get a body like mine mm. with the before and after pictures. Mm. We have seen this with people I will not mention. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we're just happy for you, kid actors. Keep doing what you're doing. You're representing us in Kenya and beyond. And we're here for it and we're proud of you.